All right, hello everyone and welcome back to my GTA 5 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Need for Speed Gauge being made by user Xmod. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is three separate RPM and speedometer gauges that are, of course, inspired by the Need for Speed franchise. And I'm oddly a fan of this. I've got to admit, for ages in many different games, I've seen these sorts of uh, speedometer gauge mods, and I've never downloaded them because I always thought to myself, eh, what's the point of that? But I decided to give one a try this weekend, and well, I'll be damned, I like them. So, what we're gonna do is just jump into a car. Now, normally, whenever you do jump into a car in this game, you have, well, just this typical view that we have here. We have no way of knowing what our speed, RPMs, or anything like that are while we're driving around. It's just a car, and you go as fast as your finger can hold down the W key. And, well, it works quite nicely, and I've always been satisfied with that. But now, if we hit the uh, multiplication key on our uh, numpad, we can bring up a gauge. And this gauge, as you can see there, does have an RPM bar. It does show our miles per hour and also shows our gear. And also, that wonderful little bar on top is engine damage. All quite cool and useful things that, quite frankly, add just enough little extra bit into the game that it makes me happy and I've fallen in love with this. I don't know why I've never played with speedometer mods before, but yeah, so let's just sort of go over everything on it. Uh, of course, typically it's uh, fairly self-explanatory what a speedometer and RPM gauge are, but a couple of things in regards to this mod. Now you'll notice we do have the RPMs going whenever I rev up the engine, etc. Uh, but if you do download this mod to get that to work, you do need to change something in the INI file. Uh, the mod is defaulted to not calculate that because, of course, the game, well, it, it may calculate RPM somewhere, but it's not really there that uh, in a way that is accessible for modders. So the RPMs are actually being calculated. And so to help with performance, it defaults the RPM gauge to being off, but if you change that value from a zero to a one, uh, it will calculate your revolutions per minute there, which is quite cool, because, well, it's just it's just a nice little visual feature to have that gauge down there showing off how uh, hard we are pushing our engines on our vehicles, which is quite cool. Now, the miles per hour, again, that is something that is calculated by this mod, though fairly accurately. Same with the gears that your engine is going into. So right now we're up into second gear. If we go a bit quicker, uh, come on, oh. Probably being in this parking lot isn't gonna help us get up to third gear. But we can, of course, go into reverse. You see the R. If we stand still, you, and hold down the handbrake, we go into neutral. And if we let go of handbrake, we are into gear one, and we can go and do whatever we wish. Now, just by itself, this would be quite cool in my opinion, but of course would make for a very short video. But one of the cool things is this has additional options. So if you hold down shift and then hit that multiplication key on your numpad again, it brings up the gauge menu. And what's quite fun for this is we have three separate skins that we can play around with. So this is the first one and we can go to the second one here, which I'm not too much of a fan of. I don't know. It's just... It's too see-through for my liking. I don't know, it's, it's, it's not uh, horribly visible. And the third one is this, which is, oh boy, just colorful and kind of weird. My personal favorite, it, oh, and also if you have skin zero, it's just not there, it's non-existent. But my personal favorite is this skin one. It's it's nice and visible. It has everything and nicely, ease, nice and easy to read, if I can talk there. And also, this is the only skin that has a night light. If we go down to this mode, and actually, well, let's uh, let's just turn it to nighttime real quick. So, go back in time a bit. There we go. Excellent. And turn this back on. You'll notice that our speedometer here now has a slight purple haze to it. That's the night light effect. If we turn that off, it just goes back to the gray. And this goes on and off whenever your headlights come on and off. So if we 
Oh, that's turning on my brights. And I also have it off. See, there we go. So if I just hold down the lights key to turn that on and off, we can see that the night light for the speedometer does come on as well, which is a pretty cool feature. I do enjoy that. And uh, as for the other features that we have here, you can switch it in here between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. So however you want to go. Now in the INI file, you can also change it to meters per second, which I think is quite fun. But eh, for the sake of the video, let's just leave it to the defaults of miles per hour and kilometers per hour. This option here, I have to admit, I have no idea what it is yet. I have looked around on the web for about uh, an hour or two, trying to figure out what this option is. I don't know. Maybe someone out there can answer. I would be eternally grateful. Uh, the next one is you can turn on and off the display of the gear. Now again, like I said earlier, the gears is sort of a calculation to estimate what gear the car is in by the mod. So uh, if you're having some performance issues, you can always turn that off. Again, the night light. We have a fun zero to 60 uh, a timer here. So if we turn that on, kind of flubbed over my words and accelerate up, it will go until we reach 60. Oh God, which it's still timing because I didn't have enough room for this car. Let's come on. We should be able to make it to 60 pretty quick here. And there we go. 13 seconds after running into a wall. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Let's reset that and try again and go. And hmm, much slower than I would have thought for this car. Then again, I am on sand, not exactly the best of surfaces for traction. Now, if you do switch this over to kilometers per hour, you notice it does switch to zero to 100 kph, which is always nice to have that. Let's turn back to that. And the final button that we have here is a mileage counter, which is quite cool. So whenever you turn that on, it starts at zero and will count however many miles you drive. And whenever you turn it off again and, and then back on, it resets itself. So if you uh, are trying to measure the distance between some place, and you can always reset that at your whim. So there we go, we went 0.15 of a mile. There we are, we've reset it back down. And yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much all there is to this mod. It, it's pretty fun, it's pretty simple. It, for me, it's kind of in a, I don't know if I want to call it an immersion thing, but I don't know, I, I just like the idea of having the speedometer there, the RPM gauge, all is quite cool. And seeing the gears, etc., all is quite nice. I do also like the mileage counter. It's just, it's one of those strange little things I like seeing in my game that just adds that extra little bit of something that just makes me smile. But yes, if you would like to download and try out this mod for yourself, you can check out the link in the description, and I hope you do because, well, quite frankly, it's fun. And uh, I have actually checked out this weekend a couple of other speedometer mods, and this was one of the few that I looked at that actually had the options Ooh, in the game for you to actually change the speedometer faces. Uh, all the other ones you had to quit the game and go into an INI file to do. Ooh, oh, actually, one more thing I did need to show you. I have my car on Immortal right now, specifically so I didn't destroy my car while trying to show off things. If we turn the car off from Invincible, I did mention briefly that that red bar is a uh, damage. So if we damage the car now, oh God, I need to run into something. Uh, the lifeguard, boom. Ooh, that did not. Hold on, let's hit something else. All right, because I know it works. I tried all this out earlier. Perhaps we just need to get a bigger... There we go. A nice little run into that palm tree and the damage of the car did go down. Once that reaches zero is when the car will no longer drive and will be near the level of exploding. So uh, once it does get down, that's when it'll be on fire. But it, just a nice little extra cool feature. You actually know how close you are to your car being no longer usable and well quite frankly that's really useful in a police chase but yes that is going to be it for this episode today i do hope you go check it out once again a link in the description and of course i hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you do come back for the next but until then thank you for watching my friends and as always have a good one